<laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tool Time. In this video we'll be looking at the vertical type tools in Adobe Illustrator and as usual if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Okay, I'm going to pass over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our Illustrator file, we can find the vertical type tools sitting underneath the normal type tool over on the left hand side. So clicking and holding on the normal type tool, you'll see we get three different vertical type tools here. We're going to start with the normal vertical type tool. So I'm going to select that. And this works in a similar way to the normal type tool in that if I just click anywhere within my document, we are going to get some lorem ipsum text appearing. However, in this case, it's obviously applying vertically. So I'm just going to type out the word vertical and you can see this works from top to bottom. If I was to hit enter and continue typing, you can see it's actually applying on the left hand side of the text. So be aware this is how this tool works. I'm just going to go to my selection tool, hit I on the keyboard and click on the text on the left hand side just to copy the color. Next up we have the vertical area type tool and again this works very similarly to the normal area type tool. Now before I apply any text I'm just going to change the formatting so I'm going to adjust my text size to be 12 point and if I now click on the path of a closed shape we have a circle here it's going to fill with placeholder text yet again if I go to my character panel if I adjust the leading here it's essentially going to adjust the horizontal spacing of each line in this case I'm just going to set that back to auto and if I adjust the tracking that's going to adjust the spacing between in individual characters so we can tighten this right up or space it right out depending on what we want. If I go over to the paragraph options though you can see we have our different alignments however again this is applying vertically and not horizontally. So I could go for centered text or I could go for bottom aligned text and you can see it's now aligning to the bottom of the circle or I could select something like fully justified text and it's going to align to the top and bottom of this shape. So moving on to our last vertical type tool and that is the vertical type on a path tool. The same principles apply. Again, I'm just going to adjust my formatting first. So I'm going to go up to my character panel, choose Arial Bold. I'll bump this up to 24 point, for example, and we'll make this all caps. So now if I click on this open path here, you can see the text is being applied along it. And this works in the same way as the normal type on a path tool in that we have a start and end point. So I can adjust where the start and end point is. If I was to double click click on this tool we get our type on a path options where I can adjust things like the effect being applied depending on what we're after but in this case I'm just going to leave this as is so I'm going to click cancel go to my selection tool then hit I on the keyboard and take the color from the left hand example and that's it for an overview of the vertical type tools in Adobe Illustrator. Mm -hmm. 